G'day, my name's Pete and uh, today I'm going to be working on this uh, Portulacari Afra. This one is, this is the front of this tree. This tree has been sitting up in the backyard in this pot for 20 years. Um, it's been covered by a lot of other, you know, other trees, so it hasn't had much light um, getting to it. But uh, we're going to repot it and trim off, trim down, and go from there. I've already loosened it around, so it's already loose in here for me to get out. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to rake the roots. Uh, we'll have a look and see how how it looks on the bottom. So as you can see, the roots are all gone through, and we'll just rake away and see what we got. I'm actually quite surprised how much soil was on this. There's, a, there's still quite a lot of soil in here with the roots. It's not as packed as I thought it was going to be for 20 years. But uh, that's okay. It's good good for me. I'm reaching something out of here now. Okay, I think I need a stick now because I want to see what's around this trunk. Some of this will, some of this isn't moving very much, so I think I'm going to be getting rid of it altogether because the the trunk is here, the base of the trunk is here, so anything that's up here is just going to have to go. I might do the same thing as I did the last time and just get the hose and squirt out, squirt out all the soil from in here. I've got most of it, but there's there's still clumps of it, and I'll be able to see what I'm going to cut off for the roots. There's quite a few. There's these there's these big roots here. They're going to be cut down, and more fine roots will come from 
from those and we'll see what we got anyway all right so i'll just pause the video and i'll go do that so i've washed the uh, roots off and i've got some nice big roots in here that need to be trimmed up some are going to go that's this lot here is going all together i don't think i can bend them down they're pretty fixed in their position i don't think i could bend them down well, maybe oh. no they're gonna go i think i can't i can't do anything with them they're pretty fixed so i'm going to trim the big ones away I can save them, I'd like to, but uh, I think they really are growing up too high. I can try, I'm going to try. I'm gonna, I've cut off the big one that was holding them back, and I'll try pinning them down with a bit of wire. We'll see what we get. That's got to go. Okay. So we're going to pin them down because I mean that there's some nice little roots on that. So that's what we're doing. Pin them down with some wire in the pot. The rest is not getting cut. We're just going to let it go and see what develops from it all. Maybe that one has to go at least smaller. Okay, and there we go. So now we're going to put it in its new pot. Which I've prepared. These are all cement pots. That I've, uh, I've got a mould and I just make my own cement pots. That's why they're all the same size and I can't afford the others. So that's all I'm using. I think I can go up a little bit higher with the soil. Still think this is the front. Still think that looks good as the front of the tree. Uh, hang on. Sorry. Well, oh, now now it's definitely different because because I had it buried up to here. Now I've got this much more. I've got to decide what's the front.
I think that's the front there. Bend them down. I'll turn that into the front of the tree. It's got a bit of a curve. You can see in. And it's got some nice roots on it here. So that's going to be the front there. I'm not, I, I could go more while trimming the, the roots, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Because like I said before in another video, um, it's cooler now. So I don't want to stress it more than I have to. So I think that is going to do it right there. I might actually even be able to go a little bit higher with the soil as well. I think it would be good. This is a, <laughs> this may not work, some of these roots getting bent down, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, well that'll do. We're going to put it in like that. And then I'll just put a wire around this way. Use the wire to help hold those roots down. And poke it all in, right in there, filling up all those gaps. Giving this tree the best chance to go wild. Like I see that hasn't got a lot of growth because it's been under underneath other other trees growing or over it. So now this one's got the opportunity to really shine <laughs> with the sunlight.
So you can the world will show. So, like, you know, that's not good. Got the words. That's one. All right. So, I'm happy with that. As that's now the front of the tree. And now it's a matter of trimming it down. What's, what's going and what's staying. So this, this tree's got some really nice character in it already. Um, my, my one decision is these two branches here. I'm not sure whether to keep both or keep this one and or this one. And I can't, I have, I'm not sure. I think I like this one. And because I'm not sure yet, I think I'm going to leave both and just trim it. And then as it grows, and I see what other shoots I get available to me, I'll make a decision then. Because at the moment, I, like I, I said, I'm not real sure what would be the best. So I'm just trimming it down. All of that can go because it's too, too close. We'll let that go. what develops from there this one will just trim down So that's going to stay as, as it is now, and we'll see what develops. This one here is nice, but it's going to need some support to, to bring it up. But we'll trim it, trim down a bit. Again, I'm really not sure what to cut, what I can use, and what. Decided, I'm just going to cut it shorter. I can wire that. Same here. We'll cut it shorter. I think it's getting too long anyway, the way it was. We'll leave it like that. Not going too wild on any of it. Okay. This one probably don't need probably don't need that because I've got that. But we're gonna keep it. 
in my indecisiveness. This one here, I like this. I don't like this. So we're going to get rid of that. Let's That whole thing there is going to go. Trim it right back. And I might even trim this down a bit. As well. Okay. Then these are going to go too close to the trunk, get rid of them, All right. I like this branch and I like this branch but I don't like this branch so that's going to go This is this is growing straight up, which is fine. We can have stuff growing straight up as long as we can get it out. So I'm going to keep that and just trim it all back and see what growth we get from that. Growing back, that can go. Growing downwards. And that can stay. This one here might need to get something under it or wide to bring that up a bit. Maybe I can twist it, twist that as well, that bit, twist that like that, which means this goes down, that goes off because it's now a bottom dweller, if I do that, that's a bottom dweller, there, Gonna trim that back. Trim that back. Oh, yep. Just trim it back. Bring it in a bit. Get rid of that. Already trimmed that. That can stay. That's gonna get turned like that. That's okay. That gets bent down. Actually, that might have to go because it's it's growing up and that's just way too long. These ones might be able to do something with, but that one, no, it's gone too far. Trim them back. Get rid of that. Okay. 
Whoops, I've broken that. There's another one that's broken. Okay, all right, so that's that. All right, now this last one. Got a lot of growth here that's got to go. These two there. Shrink that down. We'll wire them up, but we'll shrink them right down. Get rid of that. What do we think? Uh, it, if it might grow stuff on the tip of it, if it does, it might make for some more nice branches. That's got to go. I think for trimming walls, that's going to be it. <laughs> I didn't see this one. Now I'll just put a bit of wire on and box your uncle. I might not film that, I might just put the wire on and then show you how it looks when it's finished, only because I've got to go out and I can just do it later. Put the highlight of it on the end. Oh, 
Ja, så här. För ni här. Where's the tree? Okay. Wire them up. Bring that up. Might have to bring that in. And there you go. This is my next tree. Thanks for watching. So what I have here is all my stock that's been sitting up here for 20 years. So when I talk about these trees being 20 years old, this is why they've grown from, <laughs> they've grown out of the pot and straight into the ground, but they've definitely been here 20 years. So if they're all they're all just falling over and there's just so many of them. This goes on and on and on and on and on. And they're all in pots all the way along. And I just, whenever I get the urge, I dig one up, turn it into a tree. Look at that. Growing into the ground. That's going to be, that's a huge, that's huge. That's a massive freaking trunk. But we'll get to it.